uh, the game, uh, obviously it was a hostile environment. It was a good, good live environment with uh, lots of lots of fans and both from the from the city, Greenfield. Uh, it was a great, great game on their part. Shout out to Greenfield, they played great. Uh, thanks, thanks to them for making it such a good game. I mean, they last couple of years they've been down. They they really showed that they were back and uh, it's be a good right going for uh, conference. But on our part, I think we came to play. We fought back. We started slow a little early, but we played pretty well. Talk about the late in the, in the you know in the half there. It seemed like you guys were coasting, and all of a sudden number four got yeah. hot, and then uh, you guys were tied there. Where yeah. uh, Rayvon uh, Rayvon came from Tulsa West. Uh, he's he's good. He's a good football player, but he showed he can do a little bit on the basketball court too. So shout out to him. Uh, he did well. Um, yeah, we we thought we had the lead, but we, we can't really do that. They came back and they showed us that it wasn't over. So you know, we just finished strong and came out with them. What did the coach tell you in that last time out? Uh, he just said we got to slow the, the tempo. We can't play their game and speed it up. That's what they want us to do. So we slowed it up, got to the free throw line, finished, finished the free throw line, won the game. How important was this win coming off that game against Kakana uh, to regroup and, and get a W? Yeah, for sure. Uh, that Kakana game was bad. You know, we left that in the past. We lost by 40, down 40 and a half. Uh, but, you know, we're looking forward to bouncing back like we did tonight, and uh, we'll be back. Hopefully we'll see them again. From a player's perspective, a lot of energy in the gym tonight. What's that rivalry like from a player's perspective between these two schools? Uh, yeah, like I said, they've been down for the past couple of years, so it was good to see them back up with a good coach. Great game plan. They came, they uh, tried to slow us down a little bit, but uh, it was good. Since the commitment, do you feel like you got a target on your back every night you go out there? Uh, yeah, you know, we, we go we go and recruit, and we actually, on Wednesday, we went to go watch uh, Brown Deer versus um, Greenfield. And Brown Deer just, just ran all over them, and then we, we come tonight, and, you know, Greenfield's back, and they're ready to go. So it just kind of shows that everyone wants to play us, and, you know, they're not really worried about everyone else. Last weekend, Coach Gard got out to see you play. Yeah. Not a whole lot to say, but what's the communication like between you guys right now, being committed and that kind of stuff? Oh, uh, yeah, you know, he texts me as much as he can. You know, he's a good guy. They got, they got their season going on. But uh, we, we, our, our relationship is building every week, you know. Um, so it's good to see that. He texts me before every night. Good luck. So it's good to see that. I talk to the guys quite a bit, too. So, you know, we stay in touch. Do you talk to Joey Hauser? Do you get in his ear? You... Actually, I haven't talked to him quite a bit. And then it was funny. Uh, a couple days ago, he just started texting me. So, man. Maybe that's something, uh, <laughs> maybe that's something, you know, a little hint though. So I'm, trying, I'm working on him, you know. Really Way down the road, but you made the switch to Playground Elite. What was behind that decision and what, what are you hoping to get from maybe playing on that circuit? Um, you know, I'm ranked top 25 in the country right now, but I'm trying to put that in the back of my head. And, you know, I thought it was the best move for me and my guys to go to Playground Elite, play in the EYBL, and uh, hopefully make a run. And I'm, my goal is to be top 10 in the country, so we'll see what happens. How closely do you pay attention to Wisconsin's season nine game winning streak for them right now? Yeah, uh, I think the last game was UNC, so uh, I've been watching it closely. You know, every, every game's a big game for them, just like us. They got a target on the back as well as we do. So, you know, it's good to, good to see what they do so I can work out and show, you know, try to put my game into what I'm going to be doing for do you plan on getting up there anytime soon? Uh, yeah, I think I actually talked to Joey. We're going to go. I'm not sure when the game is, but I think we're going to go to the Indiana game. But I'll probably get up there as much as I can. You know, I'm waiting for a good game. It's going to be lost later. Okay, thank you so much, Tyler. Yeah, thank you.